taking shapes and knocking text out of them inside a Cricut Design Space is not as hard as you think that it is. And I will show you. Obviously, your first step is going to be to open up Cricut Design Space. Yours is probably going to look something like this, but like without all the extra little projects on the side that we got here. So something like this. Or this. Probably this. Either way, it's just going to be a blank canvas, alright? You can upload your own shapes by going to upload, going to upload image, dragging in your SVG file, or you can just click on shapes. This stuff at the top is what Cricut offers you for free. This stuff down here, you have to have Cricut access. I think it's like less than $10 a month and you get access to like these things and then other things inside of Cricut Design Space plus access to like the cap cut artists and stuff, me included, but like you don't have to get any of that stuff. You are going to pick a shape out. We'll go with the heart first. So now that you got the heart on the screen, we're going to go ahead go back to the left hand side. We're going to click on text. Text is going to drop just a generic text box on your thing. You're going to click inside of that and you're going to type in whatever it is that you want. And then to change your font, you're going to go to the top left hand ish area where it says font. It's going to say Cricut Sans. Click on that. This is going to bring up everything that Cricut has to offer you. That's their first panel. You want the stuff that's on your computer, unless of course you have Cricut access. The things on your computer, you're going to go one over to the right and click on system. This is everything that you have installed on your computer. If you have nothing installed on your computer, which is wild, wild, okay, you should have some things installed on your computer. If you don't have cool things installed on your computer, check out fontbundles.net, create fabrica, your favorite font designers, um, the font.com, 1001 fonts. Dot com. I don't know. There's a whole lot of font sites out there. Keep in mind personal commercial use, you know, that whole thing. I trust you. So you're going to scroll through all the fonts that are available on your computer and you're going to figure out what you want to use. We're going to go with Allura. I think is what that says. We're going to hide this. So now we got this in our heart. To make this easier so that you can almost visualize what it is going to look like, you're going to click next to the, like the two zeros, that little empty box. You're going to click on that. It's going to change what the background looks like. You're going to get rid of all the grid lines. Click on mom. You're going to go up to the top toolbar area right above where you pick the font. You're going to click on this gray box. This is going to allow you to change the color. Click white. It's going to blend-ish in with the background. Like you can still see the outline of each of the letters, but a little more visual, you know? I'm also gonna change this because I don't like that color. Alright, so we got mom tattoo looking thing. We're gonna select both of these. We are going to align them in the center. I do need to make this mom a little smaller. Make sure it's still aligned. Oop, need to make it just a little bit bigger. Because I want it to come out some, but not a lot. Alright, now that we've gone through that, you're going to select both of these. You're going to go to the bottom right hand side where it says slice, combine, attach, flatten. You're going to go to combine. It's going to pull up this little menu thing here. You're going to go to subtract. It's going to take it out. And now all that you're left with is just mom. The, the, or like the heart. Mom itself is still there but it's not there if that makes sense like you knocked it out of the shape you knocked it out of the park get it good okay if you want to go for something using that basic information you can create different things like all of these examples you got another mom a fancy dot superstar you've got dad if you get if you get super super creative okay you can create like a card that has dad cut out of the flap that 
will like close the card okay there's different things that you can do use your imagination don't let this stuff define you all right you're creative as hell i know you are if you want more knockout tutorials check out these videos over here we did one yesterday i'm pretty sure i got some more in this little short cricket tutorial playlist okay until next time guys